Okay, so today's video is going to be a guide on how to get Fist in Deep Woken. Now Fist, it's a fighting style that requires a light weapon. I don't know the exact requirements, but I do know how to actually get the fighting style. Like, a lot of people on stream have been asking me, how do you get Fist? Like, like where do you go to get Fist? What do you do to get Fist? So I thought I might as well just come and make like a short little video on how to actually get Fist. So if you're gonna start here at Lower Etria or Lower Etri, whatever like um the big town starter island is, I'm just gonna assume that you're gonna start right here at this guild house. This is where we'll start from. So you wanna make your way down to the docks. I'll just have you follow my and follow me while I'm going down there. Cause it's actually a pretty simple way to get down there. Um, I mean I'm assuming that like every player knows how to get down to the docks. But just in case they don't, then um, we could just, you, like, you could just legit just follow me. But pretty much what you want to do is head over down to the docks. And while we're passing over there, you will actually see the place where you're going to have to take the Nomad um, once you're done. So let me just head over there real quick. And then we can move on. Alright. So we're going to go down this hill. Keep on going down the hill because that's where you have to go towards the docks. And like, I'm not going to do any jump cuts for me walking because if it's a guide video, I feel like it's best if you know everything that we do. So, you see this little camp over here? This is where you're going to have to bring the Nomad back. So once you're like going down your way on the hill and you're at this bridge, the camp right here is where you're going to have to bring the Nomad. And hopefully, the Nomads are actually there and like, pretty much you need them to be spawned there so that you can actually hand him over to them because that's how you get fist. Anyways though, I'm going to keep on going down the hill, so let me just slide down here. Um, I like to jump down because I'm very lazy. So, right, so now you're at the docks. Let me just drink some water real quick. Alright, so once you're at the docks, what you want to do is pretty much spawn a ship. And I'm sorry that like it's snowing right now and the map is kind of, you know, uh, hard to see-ish. But I'm at the docks and I'm going to wait a little bit for my friends because I want to go with them since I'm rested right now and I can actually die. But pretty much, you just want to spawn your ship at the docks, and I'll do a jump cut right when you were about to set sail yeah, to go to the actual island. Alright, so I'm redoing the boat part for the video because um, when I was going there before, it was snowing and it was just very laggy. Also, my map is glitched right now, so as you can see, like, half of my sea is not loading. But yeah, this is the boat ride for Etrus. All you want to do is just come up to this gate over here. And since there's no weather effects, everything looks like it's going pretty clear for me. Alright, so I have to redo like the complete way here because right now it's nighttime and it's also snowing, which are some of the two worst effects to happen, especially when you're doing a guide video. So yeah, let me actually go despawn my ship, but pretty much you want to be at Lower Eritrea right now, and then I'll show you the guide from there. Let me just go despawn my ship real quick. Alright, cool. 
All right, there we go. Okay, so now you're here at this gate and you just wanna follow me. There's not really like a set spawn because I've had a spawn on me at different places before. But pretty much you just wanna make your way up the mountain. So just follow me exactly what I'm doing. You can hear all the people fighting and stuff. You just wanna make your way up the mountain because the monk, um, sorry, I mean Nomad, he really only spawns in like a certain group of bandits. That's what happened to me most of the time. So yeah, once you come up that staircase over there, just wanna keep on heading straight towards over here. continue going forward now if you're lucky um on your way up here some npcs will spawn also be careful because like this is a really high level lane this is going into up Russia. but usually my nomad would spawn up there with like a group of npcs that would come down and try to assassinate us but just in case it doesn't i'm pretty sure this whole entire area is like the place where the nomad can spawn um i want to show you me finding one here I don't have any clips because like it really happens to me almost majority of the time I come here so I like, I see it as pretty common however though the nomad will spawn somewhere in this place and I'll just do like a quick jump cut until the nomad actually spawns for me I'll just try to search for it all right so it's been um, a pretty long time since I was here at this island for this guy video but Pretty much nothing is spawning on me. It's like literally just RNG. So honestly, I would recommend that you just stay here and like just go around in circles and try to have NPC and bandits spawn on you. But it's been a pretty long time for me and nothing spawned. So I might as well just show you the way back, assuming that you were able to come and get the Nomad. So once you get the Nomad, um, what you want to do is pretty much just head backwards and head back down the mountain. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm just going down the mountain because that's all I need to do. But since this is a guide video, I will show you exactly where to go. So, yep, you pretty much just backtrack. There'll be NPCs and things along the way. It's also acid rain right now. So you see, I'm gonna take a break and actually heal. All right, so I had to fight some bandits real quick, but pretty much you're just heading backwards and be careful because NPCs, players, or even a shark if you're unlucky, can actually spawn over here now for me i can solo shark goals but hopefully i don't run into any um i'm gonna kill these bandits too because progressing is always a good thing all right so you just want to keep on coming down this mountain i just took a break to kill those npcs over there but just want to go past everything over here keep on heading down keep on heading down you jump down here and there's actually a zip line that you can take with the nomad on your shoulder to come down faster so pretty much what you want to do is to just take this zip line, go over there and start falling down the mountain. But since I have a glider, I'm going to use my glider and just go straight towards the sea. But just take that zip line, come down the mountain, come down from those rocks right here and come out this gigantic gate. And then you want to spawn your ship and head basically back to um, Etris, Etrian, pretty much just like the main island that you came from at the start. That's exactly what you want to do. So now I'm going to come down here, take that off, let me spawn my ship, my sloop. All right, get on my boat. And just in case you don't know the way back, I'm going to be showing it to you right now. There's somebody trying to get onto my boat or something. I'm just gonna mind my business.
All right, so when you're finally back at the island, you just want to follow me pretty much. And hopefully the nomads will spawn there. Some people literally kill them, like, majority of the time because they think that they're bandits and things. But you just want to go back up this hill. It's going to be pretty close because the nomad spawn is actually, like, relatively close compared to um, how far it is for, like, you to actually go get the nomad. But you want to climb back up this hill. Keep on going up. Keep on going up. Keep on going upwards and then you're gonna be right here again pretty much where you came down oh the nomads are actually here all right perfect so then after that you just want to bring him over there talk to one of the nomad npcs hopefully they don't aggro onto me all right they don't so you just want to bring him over here and talk to one of the nomad npcs and then like he's not talking to me because i, I don't have the nomad and even if i did i couldn't even learn fist since i went down medium weapon but pretty much you just bring him there and then you will have to learn fist and that's practically how you get the fist fighting style. Um, yeah, hopefully this video helped you. It was a step-by-step -step guide. I feel bad because like I wasn't able to get the nomad to spawn on me, especially when it's so common. Like I know that it'll probably happen to me later on when I'm like progressing. But pretty much this is how you get fist fighting style. You just bring him over here, talk to these NPCs, and then they'll teach you fist. But yeah, besides that, um, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you. If you liked it, then feel free to like and subscribe. If you didn't, you don't have to do any of that. And um, goodbye.